What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you an awesome new feature that you can get in iOS 14.2 that you should be using right now and that is the Shazam Control Center widget. Now what this widget does is it listens to whatever music is playing in the background um, and it will tell you instantly what that song is. So for example, if I play this song here, um, I won't include the audio for copyright purposes, um, but this song is now playing um, and this doesn't have to be on this phone. This could be uh, if you're at the mall and there's a song playing over the speakers or if you're at uh, your friend's house and they're playing a song, you want to know what song that they're playing, etc, etc. All you have to do, click this one button and at the top it will listen and it will tell you what song is playing. So you can go ahead and download that for yourself. As you can see, Good Day Broiler, Good Day Broiler, that is the song that is playing. So that is the easiest and quickest way that you can listen and tell what song is playing around you. So in order to use this widget, you don't even need to have Shazam app installed. All you need to do is make sure that you're on iOS 14.2. Uh, so go over to settings. Um, and check your software update tab and see what version of iOS you are on. If you're on a version before iOS 14.2, uh, just go ahead and update. If you're like me, it's October 23rd, 2020 iOS 14.2 isn't actually even officially out yet. So stick around to the end of this video and I'll tell you how you can get iOS updates before they're actually released to the public and you get all the latest features um, before everyone else that you know. But once you are indeed on iOS 14.2 or later, um, all you have to do is go over to your settings app, uh, scroll down until you see control center, um, and scroll down and make sure you find the Shazam music recognition. Um, thing here and uh, likely it's going to be down here and all you have to do is click the plus button to add that to the top and you can organize this wherever you want on the uh, control center so for example if I put it the second to the last one here it'll go to the second to the last one <coughs> on my control center um, so that's all you have to do once you click add and make sure that the uh, toggle is up here um, you can go ahead and use this whenever you want um, like I said if there's any music playing around you at any time all you have to do swipe down click this and it will listen and tell you what that song is um, you can go ahead and download that yourself so yeah that's pretty much it if you would like to get ios versions before that they are released publicly um, and get all the latest features on your phone as early as possible all you have to do is sign up for an apple developer account um, so just go over to safari or click the link in the description and search for apple developer um, you're going to go to developer.apple.com and on this page you can go through the process of signing up for an Apple developer account and this will let you download and install iOS versions before anybody else. I will show you step by step of how to go through this process and get your Apple developer account and install versions of iOS before that they're released right now. Okay, so the process is pretty straightforward. Just go ahead and click the link in the description. Okay, so once you click the link in the description, it should pop up here to log into your Apple ID. So go ahead and do that. Just log in. And it'll take you to the Apple beta page and you're just gonna have to go ahead and scroll to the bottom. Um, actually, you're gonna scroll up a little bit from the bottom and click please enroll your iOS device right here. Click on that. And then scroll down, it's gonna talk about the backup steps. Go ahead and read this to make sure that you've done it right. Um, once you have that done, click on download profile right here, this little blue button, so click on that. And then just hit allow. Okay, now that the profile is downloaded, go ahead and go back to your settings. And it should show right at the top here, profile downloaded, so click on that and then click install in the top right corner. Enter your passcode. And go ahead and read through all of this, which you probably won't, and then hit install. And hit install again down here. Okay, now that that's done, go ahead and click done. And go back to settings and click on general click on software update and now it should show iOS 14 as an update so just go ahead and click download and install and that is it this will install iOS 14 on your device and so yeah if you like this video comment like and subscribe and peace